Jackie Claiborne, your assistant principal at Forest Elementary. Today, I will be reading Chapter 6, Welcome to the Pits. As you know, we set the purpose for reading with two questions this time. First question, after school, Mia's parents took her to the pits. How did they gain entrance to the abandoned warehouse? Question two, Dr. Superb welcomed Mia to the pits. As part of her admission to the program, how was Mia's identity recorded? So sit back and listen to see if you can hear the answers. Welcome to the pits, chapter six. The next day, after the longest English class ever, my parents came to pick me up early. We were going to the pits together for the first time, and I couldn't wait. When we finally left, I expected to see a jet or a hovercraft or even a submarine. Because after all, we were going top secret superhero training. Academy. So it would only make sense to arrive in style, right? So obviously, I couldn't believe it when we simply walked to an empty abandoned warehouse. That was right next to my school. Um... Is the jet inside here? I asked. The what? My mom asked with a laugh. No, honey, we're here. Wait, this must be a mistake. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is an empty warehouse. This can't possibly be it. There's even a crooked do not enter sign dangling on the side. I was about to tell her that we were definitely in the wrong place when she reached out and straightened the sign. Then guess what happened? The concrete bricks shifted around until a hidden secret screen popped up. My parents knew exactly what to do. My mom and dad stood still. Then they opened their eyes wide as a red light carefully scanned their faces. When the light turned green, a secret entrance appeared out of nowhere. A tall, elegant woman in a sleek, black, skin-tight suit was waiting for us as soon as we walked in. Ah, it's so great to see you, she said as she gave my parents a hug. Oh, wow, and you must be Mia, she exclaimed happily. Welcome to the pits. My name is Dr. Sue Herb. When we arrived at the main lobby, I couldn't believe my eyes. From the outside, this building looked like a boring old warehouse. But on the inside, there were floor to ceiling windows and huge 40 foot tall screens everywhere. Welcome to the compass, Dr. Perb explained. If you ever get lost, all you need to do is come back to the heart of the pits. I looked around in awe as we stood in the middle of a gigantic compass that was in the marble floor. The crazy thing is, this wasn't even the coolest part. There's the compass. because there were actual, real-life superheroes there, everywhere. Dr. Purr must have seen my mouth hanging open because she turned to me and said, it's a lot to take in, isn't it? We have the best superheroes teaching here. You're in good hands, Mia. Wait, did you hear that? That man with the winged suit is going to be my teacher? And just when I thought things couldn't get any cooler, cooler, she led us into the fanciest headmistress's office ever. First, we need to scan and secure your identity. Dr. Superb said as she offered us seats so that you can enter the building. She typed away on her computer as a drone camera scanned my entire body. 
you are now in the Pitts Superhero Database, she exclaimed minutes later. You will get a full tour tomorrow, but I called you in before any students arrive because today is the first and last day you will come as Mia Macaroni. Starting tomorrow, you are to come in your super suit. You'll also be registered into our database under your very own superhero name. It's our top priority to protect your secret identity. But I don't have a super suit or a name, I replied. Don't worry, we're going to take care of the super suit, she said. But your superhero name is up to you. You'll know exactly when you find it. But until then, simply going as Mia is just fine. Then she pulled a green leaf on her desk plant and she spoke into it. Professor Stu Pendus, please come in. A wall panel opened up and a man burst out shimmering in green. Zing! Mia, meet Professor Stupendous. He's the mastermind behind everyone's super suit, including yours. Professor Stupendous led me into a huge room, stocked with colorful fabrics, took my measurements, and started pulling things off the shelf. A lot of them were super crazy and weird and totally not me until we found the perfect suit. This is the perfect suit. Those were not so perfect. Stay tuned to Chapter 7 with Miss Kumardi to find out what happens next. This concludes the reading of Chapter 6 of Mia Mayhem. Stay tuned.